the question of whether AI will be good for humanity or uh, disruptive in a painful way for humanity, the singularity that we always refer to, being unable to predict this future, uh, in my mind, the answer is both, is that we will first, unfortunately, um, you know, instead of giving everyone uh, more money because they're more effective, because even though they're working 10, hour, 10 minutes a week only, we're probably going to ask everyone to stay home and spend and send all of that money to the capitalist the one that runs the business. Uh, you know, instead of, um, of using AI to cure cancer, we're probably going to use it to build weapons. And, and in, my, in my mind, I, I, I hope I don't scare you too much. In my mind and in my current book, a book called Alive, uh, I make this prediction with confidence. By the way, not because I know it's right. Nobody can predict this future. It's a singularity. <clears throat> but because from an applied mathematics point of view, if you use game theory to, to predict where the world is going, the world is going to go to a dystopia before it goes to a utopia. So, so in my mind, what will end up happening is in stage one, which I predict is the next 12 to 15 years, we're going to disrupt the world so much uh, whether economically or socially or even in, in terms of our love and relationships uh, to benefit a few at the cost of the majority <laughs> and then eventually uh, when what I normally refer to as the second dilemma takes place and the second dilemma is when the need to become more productive and more intelligence means that everyone will hand over decisions completely to AI. This is normally what is, uh, you know, presented in science fiction movies as the uh, existential crisis that faces humanity. It's not at all. I think this will be humanity's salvation, simply because most of humanity's problems are not the result of intelligence. There is absolutely nothing wrong with abundant intelligence. Intelligence is a is an energy that has no polarity. You, you apply it to good and it gives you good. You apply it to evil and it gives you evil, right? Uh, I, I think what is going to happen is that when decisions are made by the most intelligent being on the planet, a, 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 a being that is much smarter than humans, uh, by definition, they will optimize for life, for no waste, for no conflict, because Believe it or not, that's the smart thing to do. I, the, um, the disruption that is about to happen is so significant that you cannot wait until tomorrow morning to think about it. That post this event, you need to go home and learn the AI tools and advance Africa forward, right? Uh, but that this disruption is not going to last. And that when anyone tells you that the exist existential threats that come in the future come as a result of AI, they don't. They come as a result of bad actors, bad humans that use AI to their benefit at the expense of all of us. And so that too you can influence. You can influence by teaching the AI to stand for us and by talking to those in power uh, like I have dedicated my life in the last seven years or eight years to, to tell them that we actually don't need to live the future like we've lived the past. That this scarcity mindset that has driven us here where for me to win my competitor has to lose is gone. We all can win and I think it is truly and honestly not a technological challenge anymore to create an amazing world for all of us. It's an ethical challenge. It's a morality challenge. 